Samsung is stepping up its lock screen game with a feature that might look familiar if you're an iOS user. Meet the NoBar, One UI 7's answer to live activities. Here's everything you need to know. Thanks to a recent leak, we now have a glimpse of the NoBar's design and functionality. If this sounds like something Apple has already done, you're not wrong. iOS 18 has its live activities via Dynamic Island and Samsung appears to have taken inspiration for One UI 7. Once enabled, Galaxy users will see key information at a glance on their lock screens, making everyday tasks more seamless. Tech Colin, a leaker on X, formerly Twitter, recently shared screenshots allegedly showcasing One UI 7's NoBar. The images reveal how this feature integrates with apps like Samsung Clock's timer and voice recorder, making them visually accessible. Positioned between the left and right lock screen shortcuts, the NoBar sports a clean, pill-shaped design. Its elements include a blurred background to enhance readability, app icons, key information in text, and real-time updates. Think of Android's phone call timer pill, but Samsung is taking it to the next level with this more polished and dynamic approach. While the clock and recorder apps are confirmed support no bar, there's speculation that many other stock and third-party apps will follow. Users will reportedly be able to disable the no bar through settings, giving them full control of their lock screen's look and feel. Excitement is building as Samsung may release the One UI 7 beta as early as tomorrow. With the SDC 24 Korea event set for November 21, 2024, it's widely expected that Samsung will announce the One UI beta program for the Galaxy S24 series, rolling out in select regions. Samsung appears to have finally begun active development of the Android 15 firmware for the Galaxy S23 series via Taran Vats. The Galaxy S23 lineup is expected to be among the first devices to participate in the One UI 7.0 beta program later this year. However, until now, testing for the 2023 flagship lineup hadn't officially ramped up. That said, it's worth noting that a Galaxy S23 Ultra was spotted running Android 15 in a benchmark as early as July, indicating Samsung has been working on the One UI 7 update for a while. Despite this, test builds for the Galaxy S23 series have only started appearing on Samsung's firmware servers this month. In recent weeks, Android 15 firmware has been spotted for multiple Galaxy devices on Samsung's servers, paving the way for the eagerly anticipated One UI 7.0 beta program to launch soon. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.